England are champions in the 50 over game are they going to be able to do it in the T20s from what we've seen in this year's IPL and the pitches and everything else where do we think England's chances are I think England have a very good chance um, obviously with the long batting lineup that they have uh, they're able to put pressure on teams and, and score at a good rate and um, the two spinners well the two spinners are going to play a key part I think Adil Rashid and Moen Ali in the middle there I think I think they've got a very very good chance Adil Rashid hasn't featured much he's been spending a lot of time in the UAE without actually playing an awful lot Moeen Ali has played but hasn't always been a front line bowler so are there concerns perhaps that England's spin bowling unit won't quite have that match time that, that time bowling deliveries that will give them the edge no I don't think so because you know they would have been doing a lot a lot of training during the IPL um, and there will be a couple of pla- practice games I'm sure before the uh, the main game gets going in the World Cup so they'll get enough time and I think um, if they're bowling in the nets and training during the IPL I think they'll be absolutely fine so I, I'm not too worried about their game time at, uh, at the moment anyway and what about the the England batting? Because we'll look at the, the fast bowling in a moment, but it feels like this this tournament, from the way the pitches have played, is going to be quite down to who can make the, the, the best of slow-turning pitches. But England's batting, in terms of those representatives in the IPL, there's not been anyone in this second phase that has really stood up and you thought, wow, they are in top, top form, be it Liam Livingston, Owen Morgan, Moe Nally, whoever it might be, and you think, wow, there's a real big hope for England here. Yeah, I think conditions have been quite tough for the batters in the UAE, and they they, they usually are. Uh, pitches are usually quite slow, and they don't quite come onto the bat. So it's not as easy as just um, playing through the line like you would in India. Um, so it has been a bit of a challenge. But, you know, what would have served them well is just spending time there uh, on those practice pitches. Some that have been playing some of the games, they would have got an idea of how to go about and construct an innings uh, in the UAE, I don't think it's a crash bang wallop sort of um, place. Uh, apart from I think Abu Dhabi, where where that can happen, uh, where you can really go at a good rate. But you know, all the games are not played at Abu Dhabi. There's going to be games played in Dubai and Sharjah. Sharjah is not looking a very good pitch at the moment. Uh, very difficult for batters. The ball staying low. Um, very hard to get the seamers away there Dubai the same Dubai the spinners are quite effective bigger boundaries and and a slow sort of grippy pitch so um, you know things ain't going to be as straightforward but what I think England have and in, in the advantage is that because they're bat deep they're able to just keep going uh, and keep putting pressure on op- oppositions uh, especially on the uh, opposition bowlers so you know it only takes two guys really to come off in that lineup which bats all the way down to 11 two guys come off that's enough to to post a very good total um i think that where england's struggles are going to be is probably in the bowling department uh, i think what suits them is that the pitches ain't going to be easy to play so the bowlers will will be effective but are they going to be as effective as opposition bowlers Whereas some some of the you know like the Indian bowling lineups very good it's very strong they'll bowl very well in these conditions I think the Pakistani bowlers are suited well uh, that's going to be the biggest question mark over England's World Cup hopes. The England preliminary squad has been announced. We'll wait and see if there are any alterations to that. We know that Sam Curran won't be part of it. He's had to withdraw with injury, uh, but. The fast bowling, you, you you think Chris Jordan will be an absolute dead cert. He's been a really reliable member of the, uh, the England T20 side for many years. Timal Mills comes back into the fray. He's not played at international for, for quite some time, but he had a brilliant tournament in the 100. You know all about what he can do. And he could be the X-Factor player. Absolutely. I think Timal Mills is a fantastic addition to the squad. He's somebody uh, or a type of bowler that England probably lacked, that you know genuine quick sort of around the, the 90s, even touching mid-90s, with a very, very, very good slow ball. Um, a lot of the England players, I'd say, or England bowlers, they don't have great slower balls. Uh, I think slower ball is definitely something you need in T20 cricket or any short-form cricket now. Uh, but he provides that, and his, especially his death bowling will be very, very effective. Um, but we're yet to see you know, what it's going to be like at, grounds like um, Abu Dhabi that's where you know the true test is going to come for the bowler uh, we've just seen 
Mumbai Indians just score 230 odd on, on this pitch there's been good scores throughout the tournament on this pitch so that's where the biggest test is going to be uh, but I think he's going to bowl really really well in on the other two grounds the age and experience of the England team something that interests me and a lot was made of Chennai Super Kings big dad's army and then you look at the other end of the spectrum Dan Christian who's, who's about as successful as they come in franchise cricket made the point that all players win tournaments because they've got that experience of England's 15 player preliminary squad just three are in their 20s everybody else is north of 30 is that a good thing or a bad thing I think it's very good um, and, I, and I think Dan Christian is right in saying um, old players do win tournaments if you look around the around the globe in T20 competitions it's usually the most experienced teams that go on and win um, or at least get to the final stages of a competition uh, I think that's just the fact that the more experienced players know uh, how to go about their business on a day-to-day basis um, and be consistent throughout a tournament, not just uh, have a you know a wow performance and then you know you sort of get lost for the next eight nine games, uh, which you can see with youngsters sometimes. Uh, but the experienced players will find a way of being consistently good throughout a tournament. Yes, they're going to have bad games. Everybody has bad games. Everyone has bad tournaments. That's just that's just life and part of cricket and T20 cricket it is an unpredictable game and it's hard to be consistent but generally the older players will find ways of you know performing consistently and that's really important in, in competitions what do we think about the conditions because you know I've not done any sort of sport in the UAE I, I've visited but I've never been brave enough to go out running because it is that hot how much of a challenge will it be for these players and, and for England players who some of whom have been playing in the IPL some haven't to be playing in those sort of conditions what's it like um, well, the biggest challenge is going to be the day games I think uh, I think it does start, start to kind of cool down um, from here on inwards and I, but I suspect the daytime is still going to be quite hot um, but it's it's only really the day games that are going to pose most problems in terms of weather. Uh, I think the night games, you know, it's not going to bother too many, too many people. You're playing in the night, so you know it's quite it's, it's a lot cooler in the in the evenings. So in terms of weather-wise, I think the only worry really is is the day games. But it's only 20 overs. I mean, the bowlers have only got to bowl four overs each, uh, so you know you shouldn't really be affected that much.